guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I apply my everyday makeup. Um, it's nothing crazy. It usually takes me between 15 and 20 minutes to apply in the morning, um, just depending on how early I have to get up that day and also how lazy I'm feeling. So it just kind of depends a little bit on that. Um, but it's a pretty easy tutorial, so I feel like it's great if you're on the go um, and um, you still want to look cute for the day. So since I get a lot of questions about products that I use and just routines around applying makeup every day, um, I thought it would be really fun to make a tutorial for you guys. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my new channel. And um, if you have any questions, um, leave some comments for me below. Also, let me know what you would like to see from me next. Um, let's get into it. So we're using Tarte Shape Tape, Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape. Um, this is actually the foundation one, and I don't like it as much as I do like the actual concealer, but um, I bought it, so we're going to use it. And I am also using a beauty blender. This one here is from Target. So usually all I do is dot some areas that I want to be covered. I don't like to do my whole face. I'd like a more natural um, kind of look. Um, and I don't, I just think it looks too cakey when you have it all over. I'm just using the, the flat side of my sponge to blend in um, the concealer that I have already put on my face. That is literally all I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna use the excess that's already on my sponge to kinda just blend in a little bit on my forehead, um, just so that the colors match a little bit. But since my cheeks are already a little bit rosy, I'm not gonna go too much um, over them. I'm just gonna use that kind of to my advantage. All right, now that we're all blended, um, you can actually see I have a little blemish right here, so I'm gonna use a little bit more concealer to cover that guy up. All right, that's about as good as it's gonna get right now. Sometimes when I'm done with the finishing powder, I'll go over it again with the concealer just to cover it a little bit better. But since that's as good as it's gonna get right now, I am gonna move on to my finishing powder. So right now I'm just using Tarte um, Perfect Finishing Setting Powder, I think it's called. Oh, it's literally called Shape Tape Setting Powder. And it's actually like a translucent color, um, which I like. It makes me feel like I'm wearing less makeup. I don't know if that's true or not, but here we are. Um, and the brush I'm gonna be using is um, this Luxie 514. So I'm just gonna dip that in here like so. Um, it's got a nice little mesh um, found, like cover on it that bends when you put your brush in there, which is really nice. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend circles. I really like this finishing powder. It's probably the best one I've ever used. Um, I think it goes on really well and it doesn't like cake up. And it lasts all day too. So the foundation makes me look a little bit pale since it's a little bit lighter than normal. Um, but once we get our blush on and stuff, it's going to kind of even out a little bit. All right, next I'm going to use my bronzer. Um, I have this, this NYX. I also have highlighters on here. I'm not going to use them today, but we have them. So I'm actually going to use this second one here. It's a little bit darker than the other ones. Um, and this one's like a little bit red, so I like this like kind of um, true like chocolate brown color. And it has a little bit of shimmering, so I'm actually using the um, brush, and it's just this little round kabuki tiny looking thing. Um, I like it because it, I can get it in a straight line, and it doesn't kind of go too far across my cheek. It, it kind of does like a thinner line, which is really nice, because um, then you can go back over it and um, thin it out if you want. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and then I'm going to go across my cheekbone here, starting at my ear um, and working your way toward my lips here in like a diagonal, um, in a diagonal line here. Okay, so we've got a line there. Um, we'll go through and smooth that out a little bit when we're done here. 
You want it to be a little bit lighter um, the lower on your cheek it goes. Otherwise, it's going to, um, it like makes you look older. Um, so I'm actually going to come back with the, uh, the Luxie blush brush that I was using for my um, setting powder. And I'm just going to kind of smooth this out a little bit. All right, so now you can kind of see that it's a little less harsh now. You can still definitely tell I put bronzer on, but that's okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do blush. I really like this for blush. Um, it's really great. Um, it's big and poofy, and um, it just kind of puts a little bit of color on there, and it doesn't pack it on there for you. The blush I'm using is this little sample that I also got from Ipsy. I do a lot of Ipsy, obviously. So I'm just gonna kind of take the side of the brush and uh, pat it on there a little bit. And then really what you're looking for for blush um, is your cheekbones. Um, I've got a little bit of rosiness going on right here. So I'm just gonna kind of go over that the same, around the same spot just to get a little bit more co uh, color there. Okay, so next we're gonna do eyebrows. Eyebrows are my favorite. Everyone always says, you know, that it frames your face and that is so true. I mean, right now you can barely even see them. Um, so, so I'm actually using this pencil slash uh, gel um, by Eyelore. This came from Target and this is the current one I'm using. I switch it up a lot. So this one's really nice because it does have an angled uh, pencil. And some of the ones that I've tried are just like straight and they're a little bit harder to work with. So what I'm going to do is actually just follow. I do have natural eyebrows, um, even though you can't see them, they're there. Um, so really I'm, all I'm going to do is trace. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to kind of trace the outline of my eyebrow. Same thing on this side. Also, the mistake I usually make, or I used to make, I guess, is um, being too particular about how they turn out, and then that's when you get black eyebrows, uh, which I used to do all the time, um, which looks really good on people with dark hair, but when my hair is this blonde, it looks a little bit wrong. And um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top and I'm not going to go all the way to the front here. I'm going to start about a quarter um, of the way through and then do my line um, just because I like the, the inside part of my eyebrow to look a little less uh, done. And some people like put the powder or pencil, whatever they're using, and then blend it a little bit. Um, I'm just not going to, I'm just going to use the gel after this um, pencil, and then that'll fill in the middle part, or the front part. So I'm just going to start a little bit further back here, and again, I'm just going to trace my natural um, brow line a little bit. Um, I don't like them to be too dark these days. Maybe I'm traumatized from like five years ago when I had black eyebrows every day. I don't know. Not only were they dark, but they were also very thick. They were just big old furry caterpillars on my face. And, you know, I'm just not into that anymore. So, here we go. All right, so I've got my outline here. Um, and also if you already have dark eyebrows, um, sometimes all you need is the gel, um, which is really nice. I obviously you just can't see them. So I have to draw them in every day. So now that I have my outline, now what I'm going to do is just lightly, I'm going to kind of turn the angle upward, um, the angled brush. I'm just going to kind of do some lines kind of straight up. I get an angle. I'm not pressing too hard here. I don't want it to be, you know, just a line. Okay, so look at that. They're coming together a little bit. All right, now that we're done with that, 
we're gonna do this thing's really cool it's called brow magician um, the back side actually has this tiny little gel and brush which is amazing I just discovered eyebrow gel um, like a year ago and it's literally changed my life I mean I remember the days when I was using brown eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows and like one swipe and it would come off and you'd literally have one eyebrow for the rest of the day so eyebrow gel is seriously a must especially if you have light eyebrows like me and you want them to be a little bit more defined so what I'm gonna do is again I'm gonna start about halfway down my eyebrow um, and I'm just gonna brush um, this way not up right now I'm just gonna go over them a little bit um, and I'm not pressing too hard I just want it to catch the actual hairs of my eyebrow and not my skin um, this will make it look make them look fuller and also a little less drawn on and a little more natural okay so I've got the back side of my eyebrow here and I'm kind of just going with the way that the hairs grow um, just to fill them in a little bit and then now what I'm gonna do is the inside of my eyebrow, this is where I'm gonna stroke up. Um, just to give them a little bit more definition here. Um, make them look like they've always been this dark. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so same thing on the other side. Done with eyebrows. Now, um, I want to do my highlighter. I like to do my highlighter and my eyeshadow highlighting before I put my mascara on because I don't, my mascara takes a while to dry and I don't like to mess it up. My eyelashes are the next most important thing. So, my highlighter that I'm using is from IBY. Is that IBY or IBY? I don't know. Um, so, IBY Beauty. It's a sample, again, from Ipsy but it's my favorite one right now. So I'm just gonna dip that in there a little bit. Get some, you don't need a lot. This actually, this highlighter is really great. It um, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to saturate your whole brush in the powder. Um, so now all I'm gonna do is go right above my cheekbone here. And can't see myself in the mirror down here. And you're just gonna kinda trace your, or your cheekbone a little bit there. Give yourself a little bit of light. You don't need to press too hard. It comes off really easy. Like I said, you don't need a lot. Um, and then I'm just gonna do the tip of my nose a little bit as well, and then above my upper lip too. And this color is actually um, pink pearl. I have another one that's like a golden color. Um, and sometimes I do that over my bronzer instead of actually like above it and on my nose and my upper lip. Um, but I like the lighter color better. Okay, so I'm going to take this cute brush that I have, again from Ipsy, but you just need like a loose brush, a little one, for this. So I'm just going to get some powder, some highlighter on there, and then I'm going to use it underneath my eyebrow. I'm going to do the inside corners of my eye here. We are on to mascara. I'm going to use an eyelash curler. This one's Japanesque brand. Um, which I've used other products from them and they're really good. All right, so you can definitely tell the difference. Like these are pushed up now and these ones aren't. So this is exactly why I do it. So it's really important to do it before and then to, to be very careful also. Um, it's got these little pads in there um, to help curl them without like basically ripping them off. Okay curly eyelashes now. My favorite mascaras come from Maybelline. The first mascara I'm going to use today is this Maybelline Falsies mascara. So all I'm going to do is coat all of those. Oh, I'm making a mess here. Oh, I didn't. So I'm just going to do one coat here. And I like this uh, little brush because it's got longer bristles down toward the end and shorter ones toward the front and it's a little bit curved so it kind of fits your eye shape which is really nice. My eyelashes on my right eye are very long um, so let me do the left eye. The next one I'm going to use 
is, I actually just bought this, so I'm still kind of experimenting with it. This Lash Paradise here. Um, this one is supposed to be as good as Better Than Sex. It's a volume mascara, not a length. I think the first one I used is more for length than it is, and separating than it is for volume. So the trick for long, thick eyelashes that I've noted, that I've learned over the years is you need at least one that is gonna lengthen them. And then you probably need a second one to thicken them. We're gonna use this guy. And I like this brush too, it's kind of fluffy. Uh, the other one's got plastic brush bristles. This one's more like a, I don't know, hair-like fiber. Um, and I'm just gonna do another coat here. But I promise that this doesn't always take this long. I'm just doing a lot of talking right now um, so that I can kind of show you guys how I actually do this every day. So the next video I can do is actually how I do it in 20 minutes, if that sounds fun. So you can see I kind of rotate my brush a little bit. Um, my hand gets in the way sometimes and then that's when like the whole bar will, bar, the whole thing will like touch the side of my cheek or something. And I do that a lot. So I just learned to kind of rotate the brush and then use like the end for the corners, outside corners. Like I said, those eyelashes I have out there are a little bit shorter, so they're harder to get to. Okay, so for the last layer of mascara today that I'm gonna use, this one's my favorite mascara. Um, it's also by Maybelline. It's the Lash Sen Last Sensational Full Fan Effect. Okay, I really like this one because of the curved brush. Much like the first one, the brush is curved um, and the bristles on the top, as you can see here, are really, really small and short and very, very condensed. I really like this one because it puts a lot on while it also separates. Because this last one that we used, the volumizing one, um, kind of clumps them a little bit, this is gonna fix that while still adding length to it. So we're just gonna do that one. This one, you have to put a little bit more pressure on to actually separate the lashes. Cause I'm not just adding a coat, I'm really like using it as a comb as well. Okay, so there's a final layer on my right eye there. I feel like you can definitely tell uh, the difference here. This one, this mascara is really great too because it's a little bit stickier than some of the other ones and it actually helps to push your eyelashes up in the curve. So since I used the eyelash curler, my eyelashes were already a little bit curved when I started putting mascara on and this just helps to kind of seal it and basically glue them there. I'm not gonna do how I did the top and I'm not gonna like do the same motion um, the same way. I'm gonna kinda go sideways a little bit um, since these bristles are so tiny, like I'm, I'm very likely to touch my whole eye with it. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is, and I don't know if people have this still in their house, but I have this really cool mirror. Um, I'll link it below also um, that I got from Amazon, this awesome mirror. It's three sides. Um, and it kind of closes like this and then one side has um, like magnified mirror on one side and then the other side's regular. Um, it's got lights in it which is really cool um, but I like to turn the sides up so that I can see the side of my face um, because if you start looking at your eyelashes you can kind of see that, well mine anyways, they don't all, they're not all pushed up. So because I have this sticky mascara on right now, what I can do is kind of take my finger and push them a up a little bit um, just before they dry all the way. Okay, so here we are. We're pretty much done. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. All right, now I look like I'm every day right now. Since my eyebrows are finally dry, I'm gonna use the setting powder, my Tarte one. But I'm just gonna do one more coat. Um, I just, I feel like I tend to get oily throughout the day. All right, and I think we're done. 